deputies for today's patrol this is the last day of our san andreas state trooper week this is the last vehicle in the pack this is based off the alaska state troopers it's a pack by jedediah if you want to download it you can uh find the link in my google mod document which can be found in my discord channel just exclamation mark mods as the command it'll give you the link so today we're in the silverado it's the last like I said, the last car in the pack. You can see this one is tailored for commercial vehicle enforcement. We'll probably do a little bit of that as well as some traffic stops and maybe call outs. We'll just do a quick spin around the vehicle. Check it out before we start. Here's our lighting. Plenty of lights. Got additional lights in the grill there, which I like. Silverados, they make pretty good uh, police cars. And they're going to be updating the Silverado, I believe, for 2019. So it would be cool to see that in police car version. So the interior of the vehicle looks pretty good. Uh, you'll notice there's no partition. Just something to keep in mind if we need to transport anybody. Once again, the laptop's got the San Andreas State Trooper uh, texture decal on it, which is a very nice touch from Jedediah. I have added one new mod. It's called GTA Extended Gameplay, and it's by Ed LM. And the main feature I wanted to use is the ability to drag stuff off the road. So when you're crouching and you press E, we should be able to drag stuff off the road. Say there's a body or an animal or something in the roadway. This should let us pick it up and move it off the road. So I'll be curious to see if that is working. Dispatch link in 18, show me 1041, 108. Got a Mountain Dew truck driving very slowly in front of me. I'm gonna go ahead and pull him over. See what's going on. Oh my gosh. This guy was driving slowly. He was swerving when he came to a stop. His driving pattern is just a little erratic since he's driving such a large vehicle i want to make sure everything is good to go here dispatch link in 18 we're going to be out on a traffic stop with a mountain dew truck off us route 13. let's make contact with the driver so i noticed there is no rear facing um license plate I'm going to go on the passenger side here. It's a little too close for my comfort to the, uh, the road. How you doing today, sir? My name is Trooper Carson with the San Andreas State Troopers. Right off the bat, we are noticing an odor of narcotics. All right, sir, I'm pulling you over today because you are driving very slowly here on the freeway. Also, I noticed you swerving quite a bit. I was following you for a little. Um, any reason you might uh, be driving like that? Have you done any drugs or drinking recently? No to the drinking and my vision, those flowers. So he's saying no to all that. All right, is there anything illegal in the vehicle? Perhaps. Do you mind if we search your vehicle? I prefer it if you didn't. Okay. Sir, I'm going to go ahead and um, ask for your Get driver's on. license, proof of insurance, please. Mr. James Folker. All right, Mr. Folker, you hang tight. Be right back with you. So this might be a case finally where we can use our canine to get out here. We've got uh, a little bit of evidence that he might be under the influence of drugs. We smell narcotics. However, he is not admitting to drug use, nor is he letting us actually search the vehicle. So what we're gonna do is look up his information real quick. Uh, make sure he doesn't have any warrants out. So it looks like that is all clear, good to go. Um, what about the vehicle database? So vehicle database, it's coming back as not insured, which is a problem. However, I'm more concerned about the drug. So I'm gonna inform him what's going on real quick. And because of how the mod works for the canine dog, he's gonna have to stay in the vehicle. I like to pull him out of the car. That's how police typically do this procedure. They pull him out of the car and detain him and let the dog search or at least just move them away. 
but uh, how the mod works is we call backup and then we tell K9. Sir, I'm informing you, I'm gonna get a K9 out here and they're going to do a uh, search to see if they alert to any drugs. Do you wanna come clean with me? Nah, man, I, I ain't got nothing. All right, sir, will you hang tight? We'll get the K9 out here. All right, he's still denying it. We gave him every opportunity to um, to confess if he do, if he indeed has something. So he's saying he doesn't. So let's go ahead. We'll get back in the truck. We'll get uh, a backup officer out here first, and then uh, once the backup officer is out here, then we can call the K9. It's just a procedure you have to go through for traffic stop backup mod. Okay. So Blaine County. Sheriff's office is gonna be arriving on scene here. All right, once they get out front, we'll use our radio to get a canine officer out here. Hey. All right, so let's get the canine. Requesting K9 officer for a search. Uh, police but saw some suspicious inside the vehicle. Also smelled a strong odor of narcotics. So she's confirming exactly what we did. So we got the K9 officer on scene here. Okay. Uh, I see the canine dog. Look, he's walking down the interstate. Wait, did you drop him off some somewhere? There he comes. That is a well-trained dog. There he is. Canine is standing by to make him begin the vehicle inspection. You should stand in front of him face to face. Okay. All right, guys. Ready to do this. K9 is inspecting the suspect vehicle. Please wait until it's done. So of course we want to stand over here. We don't want to give off any false alert. Like say we had been around drugs earlier today in another traffic stop. We don't want the K9 to alert off of us. That's why you'll see a lot of other officers besides the K9 handler actually move away from the car. Let's see what he finds. Trying to see uh, if the dog's doing anything. I can barely see him there through the bushes. Oh, yep, that looks like an alert. I just saw him um, get up on the thing. K9 has a hit. You may proceed to search the vehicle. All right, we're gonna get the driver out of the car here and uh, detain him while we search the vehicle. All right, sir, the canine has alerted to the presence of narcotics. I'm gonna ask you to step out of the vehicle. We're gonna go ahead and detain you for now while we search your car to make sure you don't Police, have any stop uh, drugs or doing. anything in there. Like I said, you're just being detained for now. If you come, come over here, we'll place you in a car. I'm just gonna pat you down real quick. Make sure you don't have any weapons on you. Then I'll, I'll place them in the uh, car here. Nope. So just a box of condoms and a train ticket to Polito Bay. All right, sir, just have a seat there. Watch your head. What was that? All right, we will begin the search of the vehicle to see if we can find drugs. He didn't have any drugs on him. Let's check the passenger side first. Because of the weird layout of this truck, we're, we search more in the side. Found a Bay Area bug shirt. All right, let's do the driver's side next. Uh, 
Oh, we've got a handgun, drug paraphernalia, marijuana cigarettes, a scale, five pounds of marijuana, $2,000 cash. So even though marijuana use is illegal, even recreationally in San Andreas, uh, you have to have under a certain amount of quantity and he is way over the limit here. What I'm gonna do is um, we're actually going to open up the back of this. And just make sure there's nothing in the back that uh, would concern us. Attention all units. We have an assault on a civilian on Sonora Freeway. Okay. Looks like the back is completely empty here. So that is good to see. All right. We'll go ahead and uh, write up his arrest report real quick. Keep these other officers on scene just a moment. All right, sir, we found the presence of a large quantity of marijuana as well as a handgun. So you're going to be placed under arrest for those things. So if we go into our traffic or our PED database, look him up, go to arrest report, charges. He's going to be possession of a large quantity of marijuana, which will be under drugs. Um, and then also he's got the possession of illegal possession of a firearm. So we'll go ahead, close that. So that is updated. Let's go ahead and dismiss our partners here. Go on. Thank you guys for the assistance. I do appreciate it. You guys stay safe. All right, off you go. You sorry piece of crap. All right, we will go ahead. Oh, I do notice that door looks a little janky. We'll go ahead and uh, get transport out here to pick him up. Assistance required for a suspect placed under arrest in Grande Sonora Desert. Roger. Nine. Yep, got one for pickup. Thank you very much. Sure. And he didn't close the door, of course. All right, uh, dispatch will be code four off this traffic stop. Show us back 10-8. Okay, as a test, I wanna see if I can move these cones. Oh yeah, you sure can, look at that. Well, that's helpful. It's a little funky, the physics. And by holding down the E, you can place it a little better. Interesting. All right, that will probably come in handy. Like I said, just uh, moving stuff out of the roadway instead of trying to kick it. Respond code three. Dispatch Wing 18, copy that. We're getting reports of a person on fire. So we're gonna go ahead and be responding code three to this. We'll use this little cut through here. Dispatch will be 1076. ETA should be about 10 seconds. Are they running across the roadway? Oh yeah. They're running into oncoming traffic appears and they are on fire. Dispatch, we've uh, located the person on fire. They're running southbound US Route 13. Oh my gosh, traffic is it's going crazy. Get our fire extinguisher out, try to put this poor guy out. Oh my gosh, he's burning. Hey man, I'm here, it's okay. I'm gonna try to put you out. Oh no, he stopped moving. What? Why is he on fire so much? Oh my gosh, this poor guy. Completely burnt to a crisp. 
All right, dispatch. We're gonna need um, we're gonna need EMS out here immediately. Attention, all units. Medical aid requested on Sonora Freeway. Officers report a civilian on fire. An ambulance requested from uh, Sandy Shores. Respond code three. An ambulance is en route. We're gonna know to move out there since we got a traffic stop in effect to get to prevent traffic from running over this guy we'll see if he could be revived or not oh my gosh so we pulled up to the scene he was running into oncoming traffic i assume the attempt to just put himself out or to chance. get help from somebody absolutely terrible let me go ahead and put up this um fire extinguisher in my car Didn't get here. all right it looks like this person is going to be confirmed dead oh, we're gonna try to use that new script and move his body off the roadway till the corner can get out here Well, yeah, it, sh it really, it works pretty well, actually. It just looks really funky. We'll place them right here. Dispatch, we're going to need the corner out to our location. We've got one individual. Deceased. That concludes our San Andreas State Troopers week. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this patrol, make sure to subscribe to the channel for future police and first responder related videos. Thank you once again, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.